Just how do you feel about this matchup and where you are in the bracket, this pairing? You know, I like our bracket. I think the key is obviously the first game. and Otherwise, you can't advance. Um, we all know that I've been a huge fan of San Jose State all year long. And, uh, you know, I think we won both games by a total of seven points. And they're just coming off a win against Boise. So, I mean, they're, they're a, a, a true challenge. And they're playing really well. I, mean, I like our guys, too, though. I like our, our spirit. I, I like how hard we're playing. You know, we've handled adversity as much as San Jose has. You know, we've lost three in a row and won and lost two. And, and so... Our team always bounces back, and we'll try hard. What is it about their team that's made you think all along? You've said all year long nobody's going to want to play them in this tournament. Right. What is it that San Jose State has that makes you say that? Well, they're talented. They can shoot it. Um, they've got a mixture of older players and very good young players, and I think they've got, I don't know who's a better coach in the league. I mean, he's held that program together. He hasn't been afraid to get rid of guys. To, to get the right attitude, and they've certainly got the right attitude. And, and I think we beat them because we took them serious. And I think people people have lost them because they don't take them serious. And, and even when you take them serious, you, you run a big chance. So I think it's going to be a game that goes down in the last two minutes. Antoine Scott, uh, second team all-conference. I think he's a couple threes away from the program single-season record. Um, just how important has his contributions been, especially after Jan yeah. goes down? I think it's been huge because, you know, he was struggling uh, when, he, when he first got here, obviously. And really struggled in the last shootout. Then we found out it was his foot. But, um, you know, he was almost like a freshman because everything was so new to him. And he'd never really held, been held accountable for, for his actions. And, and uh, he went through a, a tough stage this season of, uh, uh, you know, being coached the way he needed to be coached, directly and honest, and I think he's obviously really, really turned into a guy that has bought in, and uh, it was really emotional with him, as emotional as all of them. Like, he was a four-year player at, at senior night. And, uh, he, I think he really respects what he's, what we've done for him, and, and it's vice versa. We, we, you know, we wouldn't be where we are, and we are in a good spot under all the circumstances this year. And so I think it's terrific. It's well-deserved. You talk about getting your game onto the opponent's court on the road. Is that just as challenging in a neutral site like this, getting your game, um, getting your team to play the way you expect when they're not at home? Yeah, I think it's the same. I, I think it's the same. And I've always said it's, it's who you play and where you play them. And we're playing on – I mean, the line is, is – is, that all indicates, you know, I, I, I always told her, the same, the same rings one out of ten times. Otherwise, it does. I don't know why it rings and sometimes it doesn't. But, um, you know, like, like when we went to Fresno, we were four and a half point underdogs. So I said, Fresno's big time, so we can't be that bad. I think the line here is, you know, a couple of baskets, three baskets. So those guys are usually pretty, pretty spot on. So, uh, um, you know, we can get our game on a neutral court, but they're going to get theirs too. So, again, I think it's going to go down to uh, certain guys getting foul trouble. It's a different game. You know, uh, again, I think it'll be hard fought. Uh, whoever wins, it'll be well-deserved.